Rode has quite literally made one of the best virtual mixers I've used so far, but it has some massive downsides. Although it could be a replacement for SteelSeries sonar users and voice meter users, these apps just keep making the same mistakes. Before we dive deeper into the downsides of this app, let's talk about some of its positive features. Unify is a very simple virtual mixer with an easy to understand UI. Look, it even resizes. <laughs> Take notes, voice meter. We need resizable UI. I mean, come on, it's 2022, almost 2023. One of the best features of this app are the number of devices you can create. You can create a source for system, chat, music, game, browser, virtual devices, as well as audio devices. Each source's volume can be adjusted independently. These volume settings save for each one of your submixes. The app will create a virtual device on your system for each one of the devices you set up within the app. That means you'll have a virtual device for the system, chat, music, game, browser, and virtual devices you set up. This makes it easy for you to route sources on your computer to the correct device on the app. It also creates two separate submixes as recording devices on your computer. One is labeled chat and one is labeled stream. You can adjust the submixes volume by clicking the drop down here. By default, the chat submix has everything but your microphone device disabled, but you can enable anything you want chat to hear by toggling these buttons here. Now, I don't know why they called it the chat device. I mean, I would prefer communications because that makes a lot more sense, but the chat device is essentially what you'll use for in-game chat, Discord, or any communications app. The stream mix has its own volume sliders as well. When you're on the monitor or headphone submix, it will show you what you have set for the stream submix volumes with these blue indicators here. It also comes equipped with a soundboard directly on the app, and it's quite simple to add your own audio sources for the soundboard. And the last quality feature is the multi-track recorder. On the top left of the app is a record button so you can start and stop your recordings and it will do a multi-track recording for everything in your submix. In the recordings view you can find the recording files directly within the app and you can delete any of the files that you don't need directly from the app. Now the multi-track recorder is a really cool feature and as you can see the app overall has a very simple UI it's fairly simple to understand but here is the biggest downside. The app currently costs $7.99 Australian dollars per month, which equates to $5.17 per month. Now, if you don't want to pay a monthly subscription, you have to have a Rodex product and you will get this app for free as a bonus of having a Rodex product. But here's the thing, this app is not worth $5 a month. It doesn't have any additional post-processing. It doesn't have VST support. It doesn't even have its own routing functionality. It has a button directly within the app that takes you to Windows routing tool, which we've already proven on this channel is fairly inefficient and unreliable. Sometimes you'll send an app to a specific source and it just won't work. That's why I've suggested to use Ear Trumpet all the these years. If you're going to make a virtual mixer and charge $5 a month for it, you need to have some sort of big selling point that makes it worth the money. Since it doesn't have VST support or doesn't have any sort of post-processing features, I don't really see any reason for someone to pay $5 a month for a virtual mixer that they can get for free using Voice Meter Banana. Audio companies, give me a moment, lend me your ear. I need to understand why the hell we are continuing to make these mistakes. I mean, seriously, consult me prior to making a product and I will help you make a product. Not only will it be used, but it will sell. People will use the product and they will buy the product. Free virtual mixer already exists. It's voice meter banana. And if you want to compete in the virtual mixer marketplace, you probably need to make your product free. What you can do is sell add-ons. If you want to sell VST support as an add-on, VST plugins as an add-on, additional submixes as an add-on, additional virtual devices as an add-on, that makes complete sense. But give streamers exactly what they need in order to run a virtual mixer and run a good good virtual mixer at that so that the product actually gets used. And once you have users on the product, the hardcore users of the product will purchase add-ons. But if you have an app that already has a paywall or a product wall, you're not going to have a lot of users unless you're Elgato, which unfortunately is just a different topic altogether. Now, if you made this product $15 instead of $5 a month, it would be arguably worth $15. And as a matter of fact, there has been a company that has consulted me about their product and it is a Mac virtual mixer. It's one of the best virtual mixers I have ever used. I highly suggest it. By far, probably the best virtual mixer on Mac. And if you haven't seen it, you need to watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.